Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher. And in this video, I'd like to talk about women trying to invade MGTOW as well as other male spaces and why they do it. Now, as many of you know, women like to show up on MGTOW channels and anywhere else that MGTOW men congregate. They'll pop up, occasionally commenting, usually in the negative, and sometimes contradicting their prior negative comments. But, but why? Why do they do this? Why are women going places they know they're not wanted? Why is it so important to them to invade our spaces? I mean, they know that MGTOW guys, by and large, don't want them around. Well, there's a number of reasons why women feel the need to invade male spaces, including MGTOW spaces, where MGTOW tend to congregate. And the first reason is that they are indeed not wanted. You see, the first thing you need to know is that most women are like little kids. She could be 20 or she, she could be 80. But that female brain, it never seems to make it beyond age 7. And like any 7-year-old, they like to explore forbidden places. They're mischievous, you see. Tell them they're not allowed or not wanted, and they'll show up just to let you know that they will do whatever the hell they want. After all, they're strong and independent and powerful, and you can't stop them. They want you to know that. Yeah, what wonderful behavior, huh? Such wonderful behavior. And you wonder why men want to go their own way. Hmm. If you can envision Peter Pan, the forever child, then you'll have a good idea what female nature is like. She'll want to invade, provoke, needle, and cajole men to get some kind of response. In this way, women are kind of like the god Loki, the god of chaos. They just love to be an annoyance. Which brings me to my next reason, attention. She likes male attention. It doesn't matter that none of these men want her around. She could care less. She just wants attention, any attention. Now, sure, she could go to a feminist channel or some gynocentric channel with lots of women talking about subjects that she finds interesting. But in that environment, she wouldn't stand out unless she was exceptional in some way. No. She'd just be another voice in the crowd. And that wouldn't make her feel special. Special. She wouldn't get much, if any, attention there. Nope. However, if she invades a male space as, and is one of the few, if only women there, well, boy, oh, she's going to get a lot of attention, all right. Then it's overwhelmingly negative attention is beside the point. It's male attention, and that's what she really wants, especially if she's hot, meaning that hot chicks are generally the most insecure of all. Uh, that said, whether hot or not, the attention of a man, no matter the type, is often their goal when invading our spaces. Like I said, women are like girls. Notice I didn't say women. Girls that do this, generally speaking, have daddy issues, which isn't really surprising considering what pussies men have been for the past 40, 50 years and the fact that many girls grow up with no father at all. Hence, many of these girls never had a strong male role model in their lives, and oftentimes their father never paid any attention to them if he was around. In turn, they grow up wanting, nay, needing attention from men, more so than your average woman, as never having a father around left a hole in her heart, and she needs to fill that hole. As I said, daddy issues. So, these women, they revel in coming into our spaces and ping-ponging all over the place with their varying and often contradictory opinions. First they're for MGTOW, then they're against it. Uh, essentially, they just give whatever opinion they feel will get them the most attention at that specific time. In, in truth, these types of women, uh, they have no actual opinion and are just loser trolls who are insecure and need male attention that they'll, they never got growing up and in many cases don't get from men now and probably never will. But at least in an environment like a MGTOW comment section or a forum, well, they'll have little if no competition from other women. And at the very least, they can get some form of male attention, which oftentimes will have to be enough for them. Uh, then you have the so-called willful women who say it's a free country, and they'll go wherever they want, and that's it. You can ask why they're bothering you, why are they there, but they usually won't give an answer. Or they'll try and claim that they want to help men by giving them the real scoop on women or some other such nonsense. Uh, generally, though, these willful, willful types of women 
are the type of women who will do whatever they've been told they can't do. These types also like to argue more than most women do. And in fact, they get off on it. Uh, this type of woman likes to attack men, argue with men, and have something to prove to men that they are just as smart as a man. And of course, no man is going to tell her what to do. No man's going to tell her anything. Yeah, we've all run into this type of woman before. And then, of course, you have the ideologues, what are essentially the nut jobs, basically your typical leftist. You know, the woman who goes out of her way to search for conservative, conservative events so that she can go to those events and then try to heckle the speaker or, speaker or violently shut them down. Or if it's a protest of some kind, they can, she can show up there and counter-protest. I think that's what a fair amount of women invading MGTOW channels are about, counter-protesting, heckling, and trying to shut us down. As is typical with most leftists, uh, they simply cannot believe that someone out there would hold an opposing or contrary opinion or view to theirs, which is obviously the right and true belief. How on earth could someone not be for feminism? How on earth could someone not be for equality? How on earth could someone disagree with the wage gap? How on earth could someone not think that one in four women is raped or sexually assaulted on college campuses? How on earth could someone not believe that women are oppressed? How on earth could someone, anyone, dare step out of line and not accept the party line? God damn them, they have to pay. March, ladies, march into the breach and slay those evil bastard men. Of course, when you're talking about activities online, the most these women can do is just show up in our forums or on MGTOW channel comment sections and essentially attempt to attack us and judge us and heckle us or shame us, but it doesn't work. They'll try regardless, but it doesn't work. But they'll still try because they must. It's their life. They have their identities tied up with their political beliefs, so they must defend them to the death. And these types of people or akin to, say, the Catholic Church for the most part, for the majority of its existence, in so that no other religion was allowed to exist in any Christian lands in the past, except for small exceptions, of course, like the Jews, who were heavily persecuted and had their own districts where they had to remain. Otherwise, other religions were persona non grata, and the punishment for following other faiths was severe. Excommunication, possible torture, and even death. Now, the left, meaning feminism, a.k.a. cultural Marxism, also has no tolerance for anything that is not their belief system. They follow dogma, and if what you believe is not what they believe, then you're a Nazi, a racist, a sexist, a white supremacist scumbag who must be admonished and destroyed via social justice. Uh, by the way, you can be a white supremacist even if you're not white. I'm not sure how that works. Internalized hatred of your own race, I suppose. Uh, anyway, uh, the modern left is a religion like any other, except that it has no, in no way undergone any great reformations. Hence, it's more akin to Islam in that regard. If you live in an Islamic country, for example, where Islam is the primary religion and you're found not to believe it, well, that's bad juju for you. Same if you're found to not believe the narratives of the left. Bad juju for you. You have to be destroyed via social justice. Now, leftists, which is all feminists really are, believe in leftism with such fervor that to them it's a religion. And since it's dogma, it's always true. And no one can be allowed to disagree with what is true and right. That would simply be evil, and evil cannot be tolerated. It must be stamped out. In turn, modern-day feminists, who are in no way modern in how they act and approach non-believers, or life in general for that matter, they feel like they're superior to any non-believer. They are the holy warriors on a quest to wipe out and destroy the unbelievers who in their minds are destroying society by being against what is right and just in the world, meaning what they believe is right and just. To further that goal, they invade male spaces like MGTOW channels and forums and seek to bring the word of God, meaning the word of feminism, to all unbelievers. Yes, the all-powerful one and only truth, a truth that you must be converted to believe because it's truth, obviously. <laughs> Not so obviously. Of course, the truth is that MGTOW is a belief that doesn't fit inside the established established and agreed-upon beliefs of the collective. 
And that's the entire idea of political correctness. And we MGTOW are not being politically correct. Hence, we must be attacked, cajoled, marginalized, and if possible, converted to believe what many of these inv women invading MGTOW spaces genuinely believe to be true, that men, especially white men, are evil and are destroying the world through patriarchy, which is synonymous with systematic oppression of all types. Now, yes, they're misguided, but they feel they need to say, save society from us heretics. And that, in turn, gives them license to indulge in the worst aspects of their natures to do so. Uh, that's why these heritons are often the loudest, nastiest, most rude detractors you see showing up in our spaces. You see, you being wrong, it makes you evil as a man. Well, you're already in their eyes evil as a man, but you're especially evil if uh, you are wrong, if you disagree with their ideology. Hence, if you're evil, that makes you less than them and also worthy of being attacked without mercy or consideration for your well-being. Anything goes when seeking to destroy a foe who in your mind is the enemy of everything that's good, right, and decent in the world, including traveling to the ends of the earth to attack your so-called enemy like Christians did with the Crusades and what Muslims have done throughout their entire history. Invade, destroy, and convert. Leftism, well, it's just another religion, people, and it wants to displace the dominant religion that exists in any place that it crops up. As such, is a threat to them. It's part of why the left tends to dislike Christians as they're the dominant religious group in many Western countries. You see, you can't have two dogmas vying for influence. Next, you have the tradcon chameleon women, as I like to call them. Now, there's many different types of tradcon women who visit MGTOW spaces for a variety of reasons. However, the message they spread is usually the same. No, the problem isn't female nature. The problem is the system. So you should still be getting with women and just do what you can to solve the issue through other more orthodox means, like trying to change the system from within. Marriage is fine. You just have to find the right woman, and she does exist. So don't give up. Not all women are like that. And you're a coward, and so beta if you give up on women. Yeah. Yeah, we're just so beta, not wanting to deal with women's crap and be beholden to a system that treats us like garbage. Yeah, how beta of us. As for their women, as, as for their reasons for wanting to invade male spaces, such as MGTOW channels and forums, uh, let's get into those. Now, there's some tradcon chameleons who simply want to get the approval of MGTOW guys or who, or who actually want to use MGTOW spaces to seek out a man. Yeah, really, that's right. It seems that there's a lack in the supply of men with spines and that women don't actually like white knights and cucks beyond uh, their usefulness as servants and useful idiot tools who'll stay forever in the friend zone. But by and large, most women seem to want men with balls and a backbone. And where better to find such a man than a group of men who simply want nothing to do with women? Guys with balls so big they've essentially told women to fuck off. At least that's how some women see it. So they come a-hunting. Now, they fail to see that this isn't so much about balls as practicality, though we do have big balls. Uh, but really, we really just don't want to have anything to do with women beyond sex. And, uh, because that's the practical aspect of MGTOW, really. At least, we don't want anything more to do with them beyond sex in most cases. I say most, uh, and not all, because in some cases, the men are monks and want nothing to do with women, period. And that's not to say that some MGTOW guys don't want relationships of a sort, or that a MGTOW guy can't have one, uh, so long as he doesn't live with Mary or have kids with a woman. Uh, that said, uh, that's about as much as any woman can really hope for from an actual MGTOW guy, who is a MGTOW by choice. As for why they think we went our own way, well, you often hear them throw out their little speculations. Like maybe we're just a bunch of nice guys who have in large part retreated from women as a reaction to being hurt or some other such nonsense. Or maybe we fell for MGTOW's so-called ideology because we were naive, yeah. Uh, whatever the case, uh, women who see a large pool of intelligent, likely successful men, well, they see an opportunity. As most women don't want to believe that a man could actually choose not to be with a woman. 
It goes against all that they think they know about men, which, by the way, isn't a whole hell of a lot. Now, considering how much competition there is out there among all the women trying to find that small percentage of good men, meaning women with, men with some money and balls, MGTOW spaces must seem like a dream come true to chicks, an untouched hunting ground where they have no real competition from any other women. Of course, any woman who feels she can't compete with other women on an even playing field is essentially a loser. Which brings up the next group of women who try to invade MGTOW spaces. Loser women. Yes, that's right. Loser women. You see, too many of you men out there don't seem to realize this, that there are loser women out there. Oh, yes, there are loser women who can't get a man, and what better place to go looking than among what uh, some women consider to be loser men. And in the eyes of loser women, MGTOW are quote-unquote losers, like they are, as they are avowed feminists who often see MGTOW as their mirror image. And if MGTOW guys are saying they went MGTOW, what that really means is that they're just saying that they went mig how because they couldn't get a woman. Like the feminists did because they couldn't get a man. The same way so many feminists actually go feminist because they can't get a man. Now, this is the typical viewpoint of someone who follows an ideology which teaches equality in all things. Sadly, these ladies fail to recognize that MGTOW is simply a reaction to feminism, but it's not feminism, nor are men the same as women. And our reasons for going MGTOW are not the same as women's reasons for going feminist. You see, the truth about many feminists is that they become feminists simply because they're fat, ugly, or both, and could never find a man, good or otherwise. So instead, they become bitter, angry, and resentful toward men, and go third-wave feminist. Then they claim that they simply don't want a man, when in truth, they really just can't find one. Anyhow, these women, they're, uh, they are in no way sincere about not wanting a man. They say they don't want a man, that's bullshit. And in turn, they think we are just like them, that MGTOW men are just like them. As men and women are, of course, the same, don't you know? So they come running to our spaces hunting for a man. Sorry, fatties and fugly broads, but you have yet again made the mistake of trying to create parallels between groups that are made up of people who are very, very different, that being men and women. The majority of MGTOW men are MGTOW by choice and not by default, not by way of being fat or ugly. You make a mistake thinking that we are MGTOW for the same reason that you are feminist and in thinking that we can somehow be coaxed into being with you because of this sameness that you think exists between us. Big mistake. We are not you. Now, yes, granted, there are some MGTOW who do fit that mold. Guys who are MGTOW simply because they had no luck with women and then use MGTOW as an excuse to cover for that fact. However, compared to the women who go crazy third wave, uh, it's in fact a very small number. It's maybe 5%, of, 5 to 10% of MGTOW guys uh, fit that uh, definition compared to almost 100% of third wave nutter women. I mean, really, let's face it. If Big Red were hot, do you really think she'd be Big Red? Uh, no, she'd have a rich husband and she'd be biding her time until the 10 year mark of her marriage where she could d divorce him and take most of his shit. But no, she's a fat, ugly pig. So instead, she claims to be a champion of women and goes third wave nutter. As for women who see MGTOW as a viable hunting ground, this is also the case for a fair number of decent-looking chicks. You know, this phenomenon isn't limited to fat and fugly broads, though it's more common with those types, as good-looking chicks, generally speaking, would tend to look on such a group of men as MGTOW and immediately think losers. Uh, that said, the number of available men is smaller than the number of available women, and the number of successful men is even smaller still. And word is starting to get around that MGTOW men tend to be smart and successful on average. Hence, it's no surprise that women, even good-looking women, are trying to infiltrate MGTOW spaces. You know, men, you really seem to forget, or not even realize, just how much women want and need us. I guess too many guys have heard the old fish, bicycle bullshit enough that they actually have come to believe that women don't need us. I've also seen chameleons trying to infiltrate MGTOW spaces for financial purposes. After all, MGTOW men are often successful, and because we've sworn off spending money on women, we generally have surplus income. We're clearly smarter than most also, as we've taken the red pill, something that takes both balls and brains to do, so this makes us a very nice target for women who want to pretend to be Nawaltz. 
I've seen any number of such women infiltrating and attempting to infiltrate MGTOW to enrich themselves, usually posing as anti-feminists, hoping that they can get accepted as one of the good women and get those dollar bills, yo, either in the form of book sales, seminars, lectures, or just more watches on their videos. And of course, some get off on the male attention and the validation of being a so-called rare unicorn. Also, something you need to understand is that all these trad cons, whatever their motivations, they're all feminists. They are in no way traditional conservatives except in regards to men's traditional roles. When it comes to women, they are in no way traditional or conservative. Oh, no. You see, the trad con label is for t people who focus only on men's gender role in the relationship and in society because it's automatically assumed that women's traditional role is a regressive and outdated one. Only the man's is a valid role. Yeah, I, that makes uh, no sense whatsoever, does it? But too bad. Welcome to indoctrination land where up is down, down is up, black is white, and anything can be true so long as you believe it to be true. Anyhow, that's another video. Uh, next, we have those women who see MGTOW as a real threat to their power and their privileged positions in society. Uh, these types of women are well aware of how unbalanced things are, and they like it that way. They know things are stilted in women's favor and out of whack, though they'd never admit it, of course. Now, these type of women, they invade MGTOW chat rooms with the sole purpose of trolling, invalidating, and trying to make MGTOW look as bad as possible. It's really that simple. Then you have the detractors that actually want to make money off MGTOW by making videos about the subject. Now, this, I suppose, is not technically an invasion of our spaces, though some do invade MGTOW channels directly. The majority of the ones I'm speaking of simply make anti-MGTOW videos, which is an invasion of sorts, basically projecting themselves into the MGTOW sphere and challenging MGTOWs to come and challenge their claims thereby increasing their views. Uh, these folks generally know very little about the subject, by the way, and in some cases are, again, simply looking for male attention. Jeez, it so often comes down to male attention, doesn't it? Women just can't seem to get enough of us. Good or bad, they must have our attention. Yet they don't need men. Hmm. Uh, then, of course, you have women who think things will be better or more interesting in a male space than in a female one. You see, some women are tired of the echo chambers that are their favorite feminist chat rooms, or, are, or who are a little more tired, a little tired of the old dreary subjects that leftists tend to discuss again and again. Well, not discuss really, as, as they don't discuss anything except new ways to get away with hitting people over the head with bike locks and not getting caught or prosecuted. Uh, anyhow, uh, these types of women uh, want to do something fun and interesting, something different, something novel. And for them, male spaces are going to be more interesting. Well, yeah, <laughs> of course. Now, some women, not many, I might add, but some, they do get tired of the boredom that's part of the indoctrination cult that is the left. So they go looking for fun by invading MGTOW channels and forums. Of course, being leftists and feminists, they feel superior. And being women, they can't help but nag, provoke, and try to get a rise, rise out of men. Hence, these types of women are quite annoying. And they can't help but be a bother. Uh, these are the same types of women who, for years, uh, have been trying to get into things like gentlemen's clubs and any other male spaces uh, that were are considered off-limits to women or actually are off-limits. An action which by itself shows that they believe that men are actually superior. Because if women were so great and superior, then you wouldn't want to spend time listening to boring old men, now would you? You see, even many women acknowledge through their own actions that women don't have anything interesting to say. Thankfully, most women don't care about hearing anything interesting, or we'd have more of them try, trying to invade our spaces for that very purpose. Then you have the women who like that something seems forbidden, off-limits, no women allowed. MGTOW has that kind of feel, as does any predominantly male-only space, not to mention the what-am-I-missing-out-on scenario. We all know about that one, where someone figures they're being denied something, and it must be good, or one group and one group only wouldn't be hogging it, hence the, I want some too type of scenario. 
And finally, you have some women who are actually curious and want to know more. They visit MGTOW channels and MGTOW forums asking questions without being condemning, shaming, or judgmental. These types of women are the minority, as we all very well know, which is a shame, but not surprising. Women who have a genuine want to learn and who are truly curious are few and far between. I should add that all these different types of women will seek to invade any male space, and not just MGTOW ones. MRA, uh, a men's rights activist, have had very big problems with chameleons infiltrating their group with the hope of subverting and making it m more or less useless, something that they've had a, in large part succeeded at. Now, the good thing about MGTOW is that we are not a group and there's no centralization to it. We're individualists who simply want to be left alone, and thank goodness for that. Otherwise, women would be able to do more than just visit online male spaces and bitch and moan. Now, in the end, there's nothing wrong with either sex having their own spaces. Feminists, of course, will say different as they are all egalitarians who believe that men and women are equal, so they should both be sharing the same spaces equally. It's funny how they're never fighting to get us men into their spaces. Hmm, I guess it's a good thing for them that few men have any interest in infiltrating female spaces, which by itself should tell you all you need to know. I am the MGTOW philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.